Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEVS home school this is Fatima Sabrin Shikha assistant teacher of national ideal English version school morning shift today I am going to take Bangladesh and global studies class for the students of class 3 on the topic of chapter 9 our Bangladesh today we'll read the text and after that we'll do true false I'm repeating our today's topic is chapter 9 our Bangladesh and we'll do true false from this chapter this is our seventh lecture and sixth SW I'm repeating this is our seventh lecture and sixth SW students for today's class take your Bangladesh and Global Studies book and your notebook with your writing elements. We'll discuss about the text from chapter 8 and then we'll do true and false. So first we'll read the text. Chapter 9, Our Bangladesh. In this chapter we'll find four lessons. And our first lesson is the political map of Bangladesh. Our motherland is Bangladesh. It is situated in Asia. So Bangladesh is situated in Asia. Now let us look at its borders to see who are its neighbors. Students look at the map. Look here, we find India, India, this side India and here India. It means in north, west and east, our neighboring country is India. This kind of map is called a political map. The map from which we can know or learn about our borders and our neighboring countries, it is called political map. This is political map of Bangladesh. Bangladesh is divided into eight divisions. How many divisions are there? There are eight divisions. These divisions are used in order to administer the country. The map shows each division in different color. Read the names of on the map. Students look, there are different colors and these colors are mentioning different divisions. Look here, Rangpur, Rajshahi, Maimen Singh, Silet, Dhaka, Khulna, Barishal, Chattogram. These are our eight divisions. Chattogram is the largest division in area and Maimen Singh is the smallest. So which one is the largest division? Yes, Chattogram is the largest division and Maimen Singh is the smallest. Each division is named after its main city, which is therefore called a divisional city. The city of Dhaka is both a divisional city and the capital of Bangladesh. It lies at the center of the country. It is an old city which was first built about 400 years ago. So if I ask you to tell about something Dhaka, you can tell that Dhaka is the divisional city and it is the capital of Bangladesh. It is at the center of our country and it is also an old city which was first built about 400 years ago. Students now will learn about lesson 2. The name of lesson 2 is the physical map of Bangladesh. A map that shows hills and rivers is called a physical map. Students, you can see the map of our physical map. So, which one is physical map? A map that shows hills and rivers is called a physical map. The land area of Bangladesh is 1,47,570 square kilometers. Most of it is flat. So what is the area of Bangladesh? The land area of Bangladesh is 1,47,570 square kilometers. The flat areas 
are shown in dark green. Look in the map, here we find dark green, light green, orange, blue, here. So in the dark green, we find flat areas. So these are our flat areas. The hill areas are shown in different colors. So in different colors, they are hill areas. The low hills are shown in light green and are named. So in light green, these are low areas. The higher hills are shown in orange. So these are our higher hills. Read the names of the lower hills. So which one is the lower hills? We find here the lower hills are shown in the light green. That means here are our lower hills. Look here. These are our lower hills. This is Borendra Bhumi and this is Modhupur Gar. So these are our lower hills. Now we will learn about mineral resources. Our country is rich in mineral resources. Natural gas is one of the most important resources. We use gas for cooking and to fuel our cars and vehicles. We also have many minerals which are dug out of the ground. These include coal, limestone, chinamati, silica sand, mineral sand and hard rock. So which are our mineral resources? Our mineral resources are coal, limestone, chinamati, silica sand and mineral sand and also hard rock. Now students will learn about lesson 3, the river of Bangladesh. There are many rivers in Bangladesh. Some are big and some are small. They spread over the country like a web. The rivers start in the hills and flow down. They join with each other to the flow out into the sea to make the Bay of Bengal. Presence of many rivers make country riverine. Read the names of these five big rivers on the map. Look students, in this map we find five rivers and these are our five big rivers. Read the names with me. Jomuna, Padma, Brahmaputra, Meghna, Karnafuli. Again say Jomuna, Padma, Brahmaputra, Meghna and Karnafuli. The rivers often flood and bring alluvial soil in the fields. Students, you can ask Miss, what is alluvial soil? Yes, you will find the answer in next slide. Alluvial soil is a kind of mud. I'm repeating, alluvial soil is a kind of mud. Our land is much fertile because of it. Now, water resources. As well as rivers, Bangladesh has many ponds, canals, powers and marshes. This helps to water our fields in every season. Using water for agriculture is called irrigation. What is irrigation? When we give water to our crops in the land, it is called irrigation. We also have plenty of fish, which is a main part of our food. We farm streams of the southern coast of the country. We earn a lot of foreign currency by exporting shrimps to other countries. It means shrimp is our one of the most water resources. We also use the rivers for transport and communication. Now come to lesson 4. Agriculture and forest in Bangladesh. The main agricultural products of Bangladesh are rice, jute and tea. Rice is grown everywhere in the country. Jute and tea are crash crops. So which are our crash crops? Jute and tea. We export them to other countries to earn foreign currency. Moreover, we mustard many types of pulses, vegetables and spices are grown. Look here, from this picture you can get an idea about agricultural resources. We do not have many forests in Bangladesh, so we have to look after what we have and plant more trees. There are just three main areas of forest. The first area is the hilly forest. It is situated in hilly areas. 
different types of trees, bamboo and cane are grown here. So different type of trees, bamboo and cane we can get from hilly areas. Elephants, monkeys and wild boars are there up in the hills. The second area is shell forest located in Madhupur, Bhawal and Barendra. Wood from the shell trees is used to build houses and make poles for power lines. In these areas, you also find different fruit and wood trees other than shell. The third area is the Shunurbans in the south of the Kurna division. Here you find Shunuri, Gawa, Bulpata, Kaura trees. The world famous Royal Bengal Tigers also live while in the Shundarbans. So, in Shundarbans, you can find Shunduri, Gawa, Golpata, Kaura trees, and also world famous Royal Bengal Tiger. Students, now we'll do some true false from this chapter. Our first true false is number one. Bangladesh is divided into eight divisions. Students, is it true or false? Come to lesson one. Look, we find in this line, Bangladesh is divided into eight divisions. So that statement is true. So we have to write here true. Bangladesh is divided into eight divisions. The statement is true. Number two, Chattogram is the smallest division of Bangladesh. Is it true statement? No, it's false because in this line we find the answer. Maimon Singh is the smallest division. So it's definitely false. Chattogram is the largest division. So here our statement is saying smallest. So definitely this is false. You have to write false. Chattogram is the smallest division of Bangladesh. False. Come to number three. Shell forest is found in Madhupur, Bhawal and Barendra. Come to lesson four. The second area is shell forest located in Madhupur, Bhawal and Barendra. So our statement is true. So students you have to write here true. Now last number 4. Royal Bengal Tiger is found in the hilly forest. Is it true? Again come to lesson 4. The world famous Royal Bengal Tigers also live while in the Shundarbans. So Shundarbans is in Khulna division. So it is definitely a false statement. You have to write false here. Students, look, I have given your homework. Your homework will be true false. I am repeating, your homework will be true false from chapter 9 and don't forget to write the lecture and homework number. Our lecture number is 7 and homework number is 6. Students do your homework in your SW copy. Don't forget to submit your SW copies. You have to submit your SW copies on every Sunday. Guardians or anyone else can submit your copies and collect your previous copies on next Sunday. You, you need to be serious about your homework because you will get your CT, diary and SPM marks on the basis of the submission of your homeworks. That's all for today. Hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. Stay well and see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.